This is the sound. This is the sound of Operation Get Down. Hey there, folks. Stevie D here, Operation Get Down DJs. Hey, as a professional entertainer, I'm often asked, what is it that makes you different? What is it that makes you unique? Or what makes us want to hire you as our professional disc jockey? Well, that's actually a great question, and there's so many different ways that I could take this answer and talk about different things. But in this video, I really want to cover one subject, and that's the music and how we play the music. Now, there's really three different ways that a traditional disc jockey could play music. Um, the old school way is the start and stop method. Perhaps you've been in an event where this has happened. The DJ picks a song, creates all this energy, all this buzz in the dance floor, everyone's having a good time. As soon as that song comes to an end, the music stops. At that point, the DJ has to remove the CD, remove the record, or simply choose another song in his iTunes playlist and load that song. During that time, there's dead sounds, or the DJ has to talk over the microphone to kind of fill in the gaps. Now that works for a good majority of guys, but I've never really been a big fan of that. You create all this energy and all this excitement, you get it all the way up to the peak of the song, and then it stops, it dies. You've got to basically rewind the guests back out onto the dance floor, and I'm not a big fan of that. Now the other method that most DJs do is the fade method. Now this works great, and about 99% of the DJs out there are doing this particular method. And what it basically is, is as they put on the song, as the song continues on through the track, it gets to the very end, the DJ has something called a mixer board, and he's able to fade that song out and fade in the next song without having any dead pause. Now this is how a majority of radio stations do this. They play the song, as soon as the song is done, they fade into the next song. It works great. At Operation Get Down, we like to take it one step further than that. We feel that a lot of the creation of the dance floor and keeping people full and packed in the dance floor has a lot to do with the tempo of the music that we're playing. Now all the time we're always monitoring the dance floor, seeing what songs are working great and kind of, you know, creating a playlist off of what's working. Now along with that, we like to look at the tempos of the songs that we're choosing to make sure that there's some sort of progression in the music. Basically what I'm saying is we like to take your guests on a musical journey at the reception or at the school dance. And basically how it will work is we'll start with a slow song and we'll slowly start to progress on the tempo, creating a faster and faster rhythm, which basically keeps the guests going and has them, you know, kind of going on a musical journey throughout the night. Um, now while we're doing that, obviously we're choosing the songs that have the tempos that match, but we're also doing something called beat mixing. And what that does is while one song is playing, we're bringing in the next track at the same exact time so there's overlap, and we're having the rhythmic beats hit on the same exact point. Now it's kind of hard to understand with me talking, so what I'd like to do is actually get out the turntables today and show you a little bit more about how Operation Get Down handles our music, how we beat mix, and kind of show you how the musical journey can take place at your reception or at your school dance. So let's go ahead and bring out the turntables and have a look. All right, folks, Stevie D here back in the studio. I've got the digital turntables behind me, and I'm going to walk you through these transitions and what they're actually going to sound like at your event. The first method that we talked about is the start and stop method. And in case you don't quite grasp it, I'm going to show you right here the two songs that I've got picked out is uh, We Are Family by Sister Sledge and Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with those two songs. So just to kind of get an idea, the end of a, uh, We Are Family is going to play. There's going to be a dead sounds, and the next song is going to start. It's going to sound like this. Now, as you can see, there was a little bit of a pause there. It's kind of awkward on the dance floor, especially if you're out there with your family, really getting into the groove of things, and suddenly the music stops, everyone looks at the DJ. What happened? Well, that's because of technology limitations. The DJ is not actually able to crossfade. If he's using a program like iTunes or, a, or just a regular CD player with one CD player, he's not going to be able to have those transitions in between there that kind of keep the energy and the flow of the, on the dance floor up and at it. Now the next method that we talked about is the regular fade method. And I'm just going to briefly show you, this is how 99% of other DJs out there in the industry do it. And it works great. Let's have a listen. Here we go, once again. <laughs> As you can see, there was no awkward silence, however, there was just a basic transition change. Um, nothing major or anything crazy like that, um, however, it got rid of that awkward pause. 
99% of the DJs out there are going to do it like that and it works great. At Operation Get Down though, we like to take it one step further as I already said earlier in this video and we're going to do this transition called beat mix and I'm going to walk you through it. I'm not actually going to be able to look at the camera for this because I actually have to look at the computer screen to sync up the beats so that they sound perfectly. But see if you can hear a difference and let me know. Here we go. So the song is going to start. <laughs> Regular in the roof, here we go. As you can tell by the video, there was an awesome transition there. The beats kept going, they were lined up, there was no dead silence, and the tempo was up. So while those people are, of your guests are on the dance floor getting down to We Are Family, they don't even realize that the songs are changing and they don't have a chance to even leave the dance floor if they don't like Billie Jean. Um, but as you can see by this video, I just wanted to briefly walk you through a couple other transitions so you can kind of get an idea and hear how they're going to sound at your event. And if you have any questions, by all means, comment on the video below or definitely check out our website, which is www.operationgetdown.com. But until then, enjoy these transitions. Here we go.